Hi everyone, this is Holly. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. For watching, subscribing, or commenting, leaving a thumbs up or down, I just want you to know that I truly appreciate your support. In this video, I'll show you how I made my entry for the Soap Challenge Club's Layers with Drop Swirls technique. I'll provide links below to the Soap Challenge Club as well as anything else I mention in this video. The description box can be a little hard to find. If you're on a desktop computer, just click the Show More to expand the description box below. If you're on a phone or tablet, just touch the small down arrow out beside the video title. When you're making soap, be sure to always protect your eyes and skin and keep children and pets at a safe distance. If you're a beginner soap maker, I highly recommend checking out the videos and posts I've listed below on life safety and beginner soap making. My first step was to hydrate some clays that I'll use later to color the soap. I used orange, brown, and white clay and mixed each with a little distilled water just so they would blend into the soap easier. the oils and lye until I had just barely reached an emulsion, then divided it up for the different layers. I used the recipe provided to us in the Soap Challenge Club and it worked perfectly for this technique, giving me time to work with each layer. I first weighed the batch and subtracted the bowl and spoon weight. This gave me the total weight of the soap. I then poured off one third for the top drop swirl layer and set that aside. I divided the remaining two thirds of soap into three separate containers for each of the three bottom layers. To create the first orange layer, I used orange eyelac clay plus some orange essential oil. I needed this layer to set up as quickly as possible, so I added a bit of lavender essential oil with white kale and clay mixed in. The lavender doesn't accelerate, but I was hoping the extra clay would help. I believe it did because the layer set up just fine. I kept them all covered while I moved on to the next layer with the feather swirl. I blended the soap until it reached a very light trace. Then I poured off about 15% of the soap to color for the feather swirl. I wanted this orange to be darker than the layers, so I used more of the orange I like clay, plus some orange essential oil. To create the brown soap, I used some of the orange soap and added enough brown I like clay to get the warm brown color that I wanted. I added lavender essential oil with kale and clay to the white soap, 
plus some extra hydrated white kaolin clay just to help lighten the soap as much as possible. My hanger tool is just a wire hanger that I cut and shaped for this mold. I wrapped it in masking tape to make the diameter slightly larger and also bent the sides at the correct height to keep the hanger from touching the bottom layer. I began by pouring about 60% of the white soap into the mold. Then I poured two sets of thin orange and brown lines with a little white soap in between each set. I covered the lines carefully starting on the sides and middle so the white soap didn't spread out the colors too much. Just in case I couldn't see the lines through the white soap, I made marks on the side to remind me where to place the hanger tool. After getting all the white soap down, I ran the hanger tool through each set of lines one time, going straight down, then over to the side, and straight up and out. To help smooth out the layer, I used a scraper tool I made from a piece of cardboard wrapped in clear tape. It wasn't quite the perfect height, so I just did the best I could to get the layer as straight as possible. This next orange layer was created the same way as the first one. However, I didn't use any extra white kale and clay because I wanted the soap to stay fluid, so the drop swirls I make next would actually drop down into the soap. For the drop swirl layer, I blended the soap to a light trace and added some lavender essential oil with white kale and clay. I then divided the soap equally into three separate containers. I wanted to create dark orange, brown, and white to match the feather swirl colors, so I added the same amounts of orange and brown I like clay that I used earlier. To create the drop swirls, I poured lines of soap down the mold, allowing some to sit on top and others to break through the surface. and process the soap to ensure that it went through gel phase. Gel phase will help the colors look a bit more vibrant and also lets me unmold the soap sooner. I preheated my oven to its lowest temperature, then I turned the oven off and placed the soap inside with the oven light left on. I usually turn the oven light off after about three or four hours. However, I forgot to do that this time and the soap was still warm the next morning. I allowed it to cool for a few hours before unmolding and cutting it. 